Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the last day of Mice and Beans. We're going to focus on the end of the story today. So we're going to pick up right here where it left off. The party had just ended. After everyone had gone, Rosa Maria tidied her kitchen and thought contentedly about the fiesta. She pictured the happy look on little Catalina's face when the candy spilled from the piñata. But Rosa Maria still couldn't remember when she had filled it. No importa, she said. It was a wonderful day. But as Rosa Maria swept out the cupboard, she discovered the telltale signs of mice. Radiones, she cried. Where are my mouse traps? I will set them all. She inched to the floor, and when she did, something caught her eye. She looked closer. Maybe I didn't fill the pinata, she thought. Was it possible, she asked, shaking her head. Could I have had help? Rosa Maria looked at the leftovers, too much for one person. And what was it her mother had always said? When there's room in the heart, there's room in the house, even for a mouse. Imagine that, she said. I remembered the words wrong all these years. Besides, how many could there be? Two, four? No importa, she said. It doesn't matter if a few helpful mice live here too. Then she turned off the light and went to bed. And never set another mouse trap again. I go back to this page. Because this is the page where we're going to focus on the ending of the story. I want you to tell me, what did Rosa Maria do different at the end of the story before she went to bed than at the beginning of the story before she went to bed? What different thing did she do before bedtime now? Thanks for your hard work. I can't wait to see those responses submitted to me. Bye, friends.